One man, one mission, to rid the world of chronic anxiety once and for all. The Anxiety Guy, Dennis Simsek, shares his personal transformation from living a life filled with overwhelming worry to becoming a full-fledged positivity machine. A leading authority in generalized anxiety, Dennis gets to the truth of your mental health challenges and sets you on a path to transforming each and every area of your life. Here he is, the one and only, The Anxiety Guy. Welcome, everyone, to episode number 189 of the Anxiety Guy podcast. I'm your host, Dennis Simsek, and this podcast episode is brought to you by the upcoming Anxiety Retreat in Bali, Indonesia. February 2020, head on over to anxietyexit.com under the menu item Retreats to learn more about the upcoming Freedom Retreat. I'm excited. I'm excited. Now, today, we are discussing setbacks. We are discussing distraction, the biggest reason for your setbacks. Now, I know that when it comes to a setback or something that pulls us away from the progress that we're making, it can come in so many different forms. But Through the help that I'm providing people in my sessions, through the many years I've been working with people through my programs, I have found consistent habits and patterns that have led people away from the path of healing. And today, I want to discuss these five different distractions that take someone away from this healing journey and in towards an area where they start to feel like they're going back to square one. The first distraction that leads people towards setbacks is directly related to thoughts. We are distracted by certain thoughts that arise that spur on the worst possible scenario. I've discussed this in the past, where one particular thought can spur on another thought, then another thought, then another thought, to the point where the person becomes more and more sensitized to the situation, they start to feel worse about their future, and they even start to see their past memories in a whole different light saying, my goodness, what a difficult time I had as a child. So everything starts to change when people begin to believe that their thoughts are in fact real. A thought is directly related to one possibility. One. It's not the reality of the situation. It's just one option out of an infinite number of options in that situation. What happens when we become distracted by thoughts is we don't have the ability anymore to tap into any other way to perceive the situation. We are literally locked in. We are locked in if, if, We give the thought enough respect. Now, I've discussed this in the past where I've said disinterest is our goal. Disinterest. Disinterest in the limiting ideas shows up when we can begin to counter thought or counter perceive and shift a person's focus. So when a thought arises, I must train myself, I must condition myself to be able to see the opposing idea related to what's going on in that moment. I must be able to perceive this situation differently and I must begin focusing on this particular situation differently. This is when disinterest shows up. This is when the small winds begin to pile up, this is when the new identity begins to get firmed up. And at this point, when the new identity gets firmed up, you're no longer renting this new person, like going in and out of that persona. You are that person, and anything that's unfamiliar 
to that new identity, the 2.0 version of you, you will become disinterested in that. That's where you're going. So the first way we move into setbacks is we become distracted by these types of thoughts. The second way is we become distracted by people's opinions about who we are, who we should be, and what the world is really like. The truth is is that we spend way too much time, warriors, watching others instead of enough time watching ourselves. I mean, we're constantly believing the opinions of other people. We're constantly saying, oh yeah, yeah, it is that way. No! The truth is is that we have to stop agreeing with people that have a negative mindset. We have to stop agreeing with people that have a very narrow perspective on themselves and the world or else you're going to become one of those people. I can't let that happen. You can't let that happen. I don't care if this is your closest relative, if it's your mom or dad, friend, wife, husband, it doesn't matter to me. What's important for me is that you begin living the warrior lifestyle, which means, which means that you speak up about your truth, about what you believe is true, number one, and number two, who you're becoming. I couldn't care less what other people think about your transition to your new identity, and neither should you. Number three reason is we are distracted by emotions that create blind spots to the neutral and pleasant sides of the situation. Feelings are connected to past experiences, the wounded child within, sensitivity to new experiences. They shouldn't lead your thinking and actions, but they should serve as, again, Just one option out of many. We must stop becoming distracted by our feelings. Because when we move with those feelings, when we act in accordance with those feelings, we are only strengthening the core beliefs that are residing below the feeling. We can begin to see ourselves and the world in a much different way if, And when we choose to go against what the feeling is telling us. Sometimes the feeling says, you must avoid something. Sometimes the feeling says, oh my goodness, something happened and you're starting back in square one. What a fool you are. You're so ridiculous. But if I can act in defiance of that feeling, now again, I am strengthening my resolve. I am becoming a whole new person. Literally, you are changing your own brain. The fourth reason for our setbacks is we are distracted by more and more actions on our to-do lists. Meaning, doing more only keeps you further from the root causes that are causing your anxiety. Too many people out there are just adding way too much to their plates. I should be doing this. I should be prioritizing these people. Oh my goodness, I'm so busy. You have created that busyness within you. Guess what? Life should not be lived with struggle. The new word that I want you to adopt in your life is flow. Life must have flow. No matter what you're doing, you're in the moment. No matter what you're doing, You're less in your head and more engaged in whatever is going on in that moment. But going back to this idea, stop filling your plate with more things to do because you feel like you're getting more things done. This is a very important point. You're not getting more things done. You're not getting more out of life. What you're doing is you're going against the very thing that you want more than anything in this world better health. Fifth reason is we are distracted by memories that keep us stuck with the same limited belief systems, the same behaviors, 
and the same limited views about what we deserve and what we're capable of. Warrior, know that your emotional state today will change your perceptions over what took place in your past. This is why progress is so important. Since progress leads to neutral viewpoints over your past memories, things that you can learn from, bad feelings lead to seeing past experiences in a guilty and blameful manner. This is why, as you're going through the day, making that progress, you need to be aware of the progress. Stop focusing so much on how far you have to go. Start focusing on how far you've already come. Remember, you are more than anxiety. Are you enjoying this podcast? If you are, please give it a positive rate and review. And I'll see you in the next episode. I love you. Have a wonderful day. You deserve it. Thanks for being an important part of the Anxiety Guy podcast community. If you enjoyed this podcast, please leave a positive rate and review. If you're searching for further support on your road to recovery from anxiety, head over to anxietyexit.com and take part in the powerful End the Anxiety program based around the CBT model. If you're searching for a more one-on-one approach, you can sign up now for personal coaching sessions with Dennis via Skype. Remember, you are more than anxiety. See you in the next episode.